It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey! Today, I am at a giant ranch with my good friends, Axe family. Howdy, everyone! <laughs> this is going to be so much fun because we're going to check out some horses, cows, and other fun ranching stuff. Hey, Blippi! Why don't you go to get a saddle and we'll saddle up. <gasps> Woohoo! This is gonna be fun. Whoa! Look at where we are. We are inside a real cow barn. <laughs> Axe family's gonna bring in the horse and in the meantime, I'll show you around. <gasps> Look, this is where cow dogs stay. <laughs> And here's another one. Ah! <laughs> come on! Oh, and another one! Look! Come here! Must be out working because the door's open. The cowboys must have got him. But look! Hello! No one's in there! <laughs> Look at this! Hey! No, really! Hey! This is hay! And it's so tasty looking! <laughs> Just kidding! Tasty to cows and horses, not to humans! Whoa! <laughs> oh, do you see that? Look! Take a really close look! Whoa! <laughs> Yummy! and a head catch. <laughs> this is where the livestock go right over here to go to the doctor and get all their vaccinations. <laughs> This is what you put the hay on, wheel it out there, and then go feed it to the cows. Whoa! 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 I just got really dizzy. Okay, one last place. Come in here. Whoa, this is the tack room. Look, whoa, all these saddles. Okay, in order to ride a horse, I need your help. Let's pick our favorite saddle, okay? Come on. This one? Nah. This one? Nah. This one looks like a great one. Okay, but first, we need a horse pad. These up top. Oh, oh, come here. Look at this one. Do you know what color this is? Yeah, one of my favorite too. Blue. <laughs> okay, let's grab this horse pad. And we'll grab this one right here. And then we also need a bridle. Come on. Okay, got the bridle. Let's put it on the saddle. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Hey, thanks, Blippi, for grabbing the tack. Yeah. Why don't you hand me the saddle pads? All right. We'll those put those on first. Saddle pads? What do those do? Saddle pads go on underneath your saddle 
to put some cushion for the horse. The saddle is what the cowboy sits in. Okay. And so this goes on the horse after the pads and it'll strap onto the horse so that the rider will have a place to sit. The bridle Ooh. or the headstall. Okay. And a, a cowboy or cowgirl uses a bridle to steer the horse. Ooh, like a steering wheel. <laughs> so, like this, and then over its ears, like this, and wow. you control the bridle with what we call reins. Oh. So these are the steering wheel to the horse. Okay. Well, does that mean that I'm ready to steer the horse? I think so, Blippi. <laughs> All right, Blippi, your turn. All right. Oh. Hey. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Well, here I go. Have a good ride. Thanks. Here I go. Whoa. This horse is dark brown. <laughs> she is so beautiful. This horse's name is Fancy, and she is so fancy. That was so much fun. Not only is Fancy a beautiful animal, but we use her and the other horses as workhorses to move cattle around the ranch. That was sure a blast riding a horse. Let's go see what else there is on this great ranch. And now for their biggest machine at the ranch. Now that's a big machine. Now that the skidgen is parked and it's safe to get up really close, my good friend Cody from Axe Family. Hey everybody. <laughs> he'll show you around. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's go. Okay, so this skidgen is actually used for fighting wildfires. It's, it's like a fire truck and a monster truck combined. You see these big tires? This is just like a monster truck tire. Look how huge it is. These are so the skidgen doesn't get stuck when it's out in the wilderness. Let's go up here to the front. Up here we have the plow and we have the brush guard. And this goes down to the ground and it pushes and it clears all the brush and it makes a fire line so that when the fire comes to the fire line, it'll stop. 
Come on here to the back. In the back we have a giant water tank right here. This is full of water. It's about 1100 gallons of water. And there's a hose reel right here. And this red hose, you can pull it out and run it out to a fire and put it down. There's also a turret up on the top that spins around and sprays water. But before I show you that, let's go on inside the cab. All right, so now we're on the inside of the skidgen. Let me show you around. This is the steering wheel, and this is basically what's used to drive the skidgen around. And if you look right up here, this is the dash where all the gauges are. And if you press on this button right here, that's the horn. You see that? Now look down here by my feet. This is the brake pedal, and this is the gas pedal. And then right here, there's this little lever. This controls the blade up at the front of the skidgen. Let me show you the coolest part. This is the joystick that controls the water cannon. Watch, I'm gonna spray some water. And check this out. This is a giant moose. And today, you and I at Northwest Trek in Eatonville, Washington are going to see some awesome animals. Maybe we'll see a moose. I am so excited. Let's go. Bye-bye, moose. Whoa, check out this radical off-road vehicle. This is so cool. This is what you and I are going to take the tour in. Let's inspect it. Make sure it's nice and safe for us. Check it out. These are some big wheels and tires. Whoa, and look at that tread. That is some big tread for some massive off-roading. Yeah. Whoa. Check out that up there. That is the canopy top. Just in case if it rains, nothing will hit our heads. It's kind of like an umbrella, but for a vehicle. All right. Let's check out inside. Whoa, hey, check this out. Hello, hello, Northwest Trek. Flippy's here. Can I come on the tour? Hey there, Flippy, you're clear for the tour. All right, you heard him. We're ready to take the tour. All right, first we need to finish our vehicle tour. All right, check this out. This is where you fill up the vehicle with gas. Yep, it's nice and full. All right, there we go. Oh, now into the back of the vehicle. Whoa! Check it out. Whoa, there's so many seats back here. Whoa! <laughs> this is so cool. I'm gonna sit right here so I can get a bird's eye view of all the fun animals we're about to see. Let's go! Whoa! Do you see those animals? Those animals are elk. Hey, and look at that one. That one has big antlers. That one is a boy. And all those other ones are girls. <laughs> see you later, elk. <laughs> oh, looks like they're playing. See ya. Oh, let's go explore some more animals around here. Check it out. This is a bison. Whoa. And do you see how it has some fur on the side? Yeah, some really short fur and some long fur. And that long fur is called a cape. Yeah, that means this bison is a boy. Whoa. This bison is so big, it weighs the size of a small car. <laughs> Oh, this is so much fun at the Northwest Trek. 
<laughs> Whoa! Do you see that animal? That is a moose. One way I can tell that that is a moose is the thing that it has under its chin. Yeah. <laughs> That's called a bell. Whoa, and there's another moose over here. Hello, moose. Hey, moose. <laughs> Do you see how that moose is moving its ears? Yeah, they have some big ears. They can probably hear really good. Let's see. Hello, moose. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I was being really quiet and it heard me. <laughs> Check out those animals. Those animals are big horned sheep. Can you see their horns? Yeah, if you look at them from the side, it kind of looks like a circle. <laughs> wow, what cool animals. Whoa! This is so much fun at Northwest Trek. We are finding so many animals. They are so cute. <laughs> There's three goats right here. Hey, I think you and I should count them. One, two, three. Yeah, three white goats. Oh, they're so cute. Hello, goat. Hey. <laughs> oh. oh, looks like two are leaving. Three minus two is one. But they're still there. So there's three. <laughs> so silly. Bison is massive. <laughs> and those goats are really small. It's so cool that these two species of animals are living right next to each other and they're getting along. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Northwest Trek is such a great place to see animals that are native to the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> yeah! Huh, well, we gotta keep going because we have so many more animals to see. Let's go! Whoa! Do you see those birds? Oh, oh! They're so big! Those are bald eagles. Do you see how that one has a white neck and head? Yeah, because that is an adult. But that one right there with the darker neck and head that means it's a juvenile, which is five years and younger. Hey, how old are you? <laughs> cool! <laughs> Whoa! This is the wingspan of a bald eagle. Whoa! It has a bigger wingspan than I do! Whoa! Go! 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 Whoa, do you see that animal? <laughs> that animal is a raccoon. Whoa, raccoons are so cute. <laughs> yeah, you can find raccoons in a lot of places, like out in the wilderness and even in the city. Yeah, sometimes I hear my garbage at night getting ruffled up. <laughs> and actually, it's a raccoon just trying to find some food. <laughs> Do you see that? Those are itty bitty chunks of food for an animal called river otters. I am so excited. <laughs> Whoa, do you see those animals? Those are the river otters I was talking about earlier. <laughs> and they're eating lunch. Whoa, come check them out. Hey, there they are. Wow, <laughs> they look really hungry. River otters can actually dive down 60 feet underwater. Whoa, that's about 20 meters. That is really deep. <laughs> Check them out. Whoa, that is a wolverine. It has some really sharp claws. <laughs> 
and its teeth and jaw is so sharp, it can crunch through bone. Whoa, and these animals are really fierce. They have to be fierce because they live in the wilderness. Whoa, <laughs> what cool animals. Whoa, do you see those animals? Yeah, those are bears. They're actually grizzly bears. <laughs> these are the biggest bears that we have in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, they're so big! And their smell is so good, they can smell food from 20 miles away. Wow, that's like about 32 kilometers. That is so far. Hey, I have an idea. How about you and I act like bears? So we get on all fours, but when you hear music, then you stand up and growl and dance like a bear. Ready? All right, act like a bear. Rawr! 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 fun today at Northwest Trek in Eatonville, Washington. Wow, we sure did learn about a lot of Pacific Northwest animals today, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed learning with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi! Good job. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hello. It's me, Flippy. And today, I'm at Predators of the Heart Wolf Encounters in Anacortes, Washington. <laughs> this place is awesome. I heard they have a lot of cool animals here, like sloths, <laughs> tortoises, <laughs> alligators, <laughs> of course, wolves. Oh, oh, oh! And a lot of other cool animals. I am so excited to learn about all these animals with you. <laughs> yeah, let's go! <laughs> Whoa! Did you hear that? Yeah, that was a howling wolf. Whoa! Hey! Wow, check it out. Whoa, these wolves. Whoa, that is so cool. These wolves' names are Kakoa. Good job, Kakoa. <laughs> and that one right there, yeah, his name is Max. And the people up there, that's Ashley up there with Kakoa. And that is Holly. Whoa! Hey, did you think that these wolves kind of look like dogs? I know, I did too. But hey, let me tell you, dogs and wolves are different species, but they're actually both what's called canines. Yeah! Well, hey, wolves are pretty smart. They can actually hear a human from 10 miles away. Whoa! That is really far away. And they can smell a human from two miles away. Wow. Look at them. They're so cool looking. Wow. They look nice and soft up there. Whoa. That is so cool. Check them out. <laughs> Wolves actually have about 30% larger brains than dogs. Yeah, gray wolves, they can bite two times harder than dogs. Wolves have babies one time a year. Yeah, and the babies, they actually can't see or hear when they're babies and they're the size of a pop can. <laughs> That's so small. Wolves live in what's called wolf packs. 
Woo hoo! <laughs> yeah, there's about two to thirty wolves in a wolf pack. Wow, so cool! Whoa, check it out! Yeah, this is a sloth. Hello! Hey! Whoa, do you see how slow he's moving? Wow, he's moving so slow. Actually, sloths can actually swim pretty fast. They swim three times faster than what they move on land or climbing in trees. <laughs> hey, are you hungry? Look at what I brought. Ooh, a grape. Here you go. Are you hungry? Here you go. Oh, nice and gentle. Whoa, do you see its teeth? Their teeth are so sharp. Yeah, they're razor sharp. Hey, and check these out over here. Here's another one. Whoa! Here's a second sloth. Hey, whoa! How are you? Here you go, are you hungry? Do you want a grape? Yum! You love your fruits, huh? Oh, he's using his hand. These are actually two toed sloths. Whoa, hey, and look at this one down here. Whoa, what are you doing all the way down here? <laughs> You're just climbing. You wanna try a grape? Here you go. Oh, maybe this one's not hungry. We'll go back to this one over here. <laughs> Oh, the first one seemed really hungry. All right, see you soon. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Whoa, you are so cute. Look at its toes. Yeah, the toenails. Whoa, looks like they're really long and curled. So then it can hang on things like branches and trees. Whoa, all right, see you again. Bye-bye. Whoa! Check it out! It looks like we have four tortoises. We have one, two, three, four tortoises. Whoa! And this one over here is so big. Hey, how are you? Hey, my name's Blippi. Whoa! This is a Selkata tortoise. Whoa, and it is so big. Yeah, they can actually get 100 pounds and 100 years old. But this one's actually 20 years old. Whoa, he's so big still though. Whoa, and this one over here. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> this one is another Selkata tortoise. Here, check this out. I'll rotate him around so then you can see him. Oh, hey. <laughs> This Selkata tortoise is actually five years old. <laughs> so he's a lot smaller. Oh, and here's two more over here. Whoa, do you see these? These look a little different. Here, let me turn them around. Here you go. Yeah, this is a red-footed tortoise. Whoa, are you going to your friend over here? All these tortoises have shells that are really hard that then they can curl up a little bit inside to help protect them. Whoa, look at you go, you're so fast. Whoa, all right, check this out. Oh, hey. All right, I'm gonna pick him up and see how heavy he weighs. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, that was so heavy. <laughs> Whoa, you are a good boy. I love tortoises. Check it out, this is Salvador. Whoa, he is so unique looking. Look at his head, it's so long and skinny. Wow, it's long and skinny because then it allows for him to go inside anthills with his face and his mouth. Bye-bye. <laughs> Anteaters can actually eat 30,000 ants a day and they spend about 30 seconds per anthill. Whoa, here he comes. Yeah, they actually only spend 30 seconds per ant hill, so then the ants don't crawl on them and get attacked. Yeah. Wow, what smart creatures. 
Whoa, their eyesight actually isn't that good, but their smell is great. Whoa, Salvador, you like your lunch? Yeah! <laughs>is a groundhog, and it looks like he's eating a banana. Whoa, so cute. Groundhogs are really cool because they actually go into hibernation. Yeah, that means they hang out inside, underground, during wintertime when it's cold, but then springtime, they come on out, see the sun. Whoa, hey. And actually, their burrows, yeah, they go in different directions, kind of like an anthill, for 66 yards in different directions. That's about 200 feet. Hey, buddy, you want another banana? Here you go. Oh, here you go. I'll set that right there for you for later. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> oh, here you go, Bean. Whoa, check it out. This is a porcupine. There you go, Bean. Whoa! Yeah, do you see Bean's quills? Wow! Yeah, porcupines have spikes. Yeah, quills. And actually, they can't shoot them out like what you might think they can. What they do is first they release a smell. And if the predator doesn't get scared, then it puffs up and then it'll back into the predator. Or maybe the predator will attack it and that's its defensive mechanism. Whoa, hey Bean, do you like that banana? <laughs> yeah, Bean was actually found in a bean patch. <laughs> Whoa, hey Bean. Whoa, so cute. <laughs> well, porcupines are so cool. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to pet Bean today. Yeah, because Bean is enjoying his banana. <laughs> See ya. Did you see that? This box just moved. Hmm, I'm not seeing an animal anywhere else. Wait a second, I wonder if there's an animal under this box. <laughs> One way to find out. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa, check it out. This is a giant hairy armadillo. Whoa, hey, how are you? Yeah, her name is Wren. Whoa, she is so cute. Look how big she is. She is so active. Yeah, armadillos typically roll into a ball to protect themselves. Yeah, like that. But actually, giant hairy armadillos can't do that. Whoa, look at her. What they do for protection is they dig in the ground. Yeah, dig holes. That's called burrowing. Whoa, and she loves to eat insects. Whoa, she is so cool. Maybe I can pet her. This is a blue and gold macaw. Macaw! Macaw! <laughs> wow! She is so pretty! Look at her colors! Wow! Blue and yellow. Gold! Oh, hey! And then look! Looks like she has some green on her head. Hey! Wow! And look at that sharp beak. <laughs> wow! Hasn't this been fun learning about all these animals today? Yeah, it was so much fun at Predators of the Heart Wolf Encounters in Anacortes, Washington. Whoa, I sure did have a lot of fun learning about animals with you. Thanks for coming along. Well, this is the end of this video though, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me, Angel? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. 
Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Sheila. Hey, Sheila. <laughs> She's a farm dog. Whoa, and look at what I have. This is my lunch. I have a tasty apple. Ooh, some strawberries, bananas, a sandwich with tomatoes on it. Ooh, and even farm fresh eggs. Wow, have you ever wondered how this food gets to your plate? <laughs> yeah, I have to. So today we are at Laughing Goat Flower Farm in Enumclaw, Washington. This is gonna be so much fun. Ooh, Sheila, look at these plants. Whoa, these are strawberries and blueberries. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a strawberry or a blueberry? Yeah, so tasty. Ooh, and look at these. Hmm, pretty interesting looking. <laughs> this plant, yeah, this is another fruit or a vegetable. Yeah. This one's a vegetable, and this vegetable is called garlic. I love garlic. It makes my food taste so good. So garlic is actually a bulb right down there, but it's not ready to be harvested yet. But up here, you can harvest the tops, and it's also tasty. I'll show you how to do that. So I'm gonna take these really sharp, scissors, so I'm gonna be very careful. And I'm gonna snip it right there. This is what it looks like. Whoa! One great thing about this farm is that all the food and the flowers are organically grown. <laughs> this is gonna be so tasty. All right, I think that's good enough. Let's count them. All right, we have one. Two, and three. Wow, three pieces of garlic top. Yum! <laughs> Ooh, these are called snap peas. Mmm, mmm. And they're so yummy. Hmm, I think you and I should plant some snap peas. Okay, so to plant some plants, some plants, you need a shovel, where you dig a hole in a bed of soil, just like this, and put a seed right in the hole, fill up the hole, put some water on it, and then, after a lot of sun, and some more water, and a lot of love, it'll grow into a tasty plant. <laughs> all right, but for snap peas, all you have to do is put one of these plants in a box <laughs> right on top of the soil and push it down to right about there. Perfect. And then you take another one and push it down. <laughs> Let's do a few more together. All right, this is really fun. Look at them. See? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. All right, four minus one <laughs> is three. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's put the rest of these down inside the soil. There we go. Okay, so we have a bunch of them right in a line right here. So let's move the rest of that and those. And let's take the water and let's give them some water. Wow. All right, 
Then in a while, these are gonna grow into really big plants. And then, they'll grow these on them. And then, you can eat them, like this. Wait a second. I think there's some big ones over there. Come on. <laughs> All right. So those snap peas that we just planted in seed form after two months are gonna grow to look like this. Look. <laughs> See, the plant has nodes and then those nodes grow the snap peas off of them. Ooh, pull it off. And look, you have a lot of snap peas off this one plant. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Have you ever tried a snap pea? <laughs> Maybe you should. They're really good. Huh, Sheila? <laughs> okay, all right. Time for some more food. Come check this out. Ooh, these are strawberry bushes. And look down here. These are strawberries. Really red strawberries. Let me pull it off. Yum! Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That was tasty! Whoa! I love strawberry bushes. Ooh, and here's some blueberries. But they're not quite ripe yet. See these? Yeah, they'll be blue when they're nice and ripe. And then you can eat them! <laughs> Woo! Now we're in the chicken coop. Hey, chickens! <laughs> and look, these are some tasty treats for the chickens. They love to eat these tasty treats, so then they lay lots of eggs. I love eggs for breakfast, of course. All right, here you go, chickens. <laughs> Whee, here you go. Oh, yum. They love these tasty treats. Just like how I love fruits and vegetables, these chickens love this stuff. I don't know what it is though. Here you go. All right, all right. There you go. From there, you can spread the rest around. There you go. And now, I'll pick one up so I can pet it. Oh, look, <laughs> I have a chicken. And they love to be pet on their head. See, hey chicken. You wanna see the chicken? Oh, so cute. Their neck. Oh, so relaxed. So cute. Hey, chicken, chicken. Hey, chicken, chicken. See? Oh, it's okay. It's okay, girl. See, the chickens live in this coop. They love to eat food, just like me and you. So then, they can lay their eggs. So then, you and I can eat them. They're so nice. <laughs> All right, here you go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> Time to pet another chicken. First, we gotta catch one. So now, in this room, this is where the chickens lay their eggs. Come here. Whoa, see them down there? Yeah, they're laying eggs. And if you look right here, there's a couple eggs ready for us to grab. Look. Right down there. 
One egg. Two eggs. Yum. <laughs> hey, pigs. <laughs> Another fun thing about this farm is they have farm pets too. Just like these goats. Whoa. And there's some pigs back here. All right. Hey, down. <laughs> All right. So, let's give them some treats. All right. Let's see. Oops, sorry. Here's, oh, whoopsies. <laughs> okay. Let's set some of this stuff down. I'm gonna set that down. All right. Who wants some banana? Oh, yum. <laughs> All right, would you like some banana? Oh, there you go. Ooh, you know the banana peel part that you and I don't like? They love it. Check it out. You want it? Yum. <laughs> Ooh. Would you like some banana? Yum. Enjoy. Ooh. Would you like some banana? Okay, there you go. <laughs> Okay, hey, this one hasn't got any. Hey, would you like a treat? Hey, oh, hey, would you like a treat? Oh, 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 hey, down, go down. There you go. Hey, pig, hey, pig, there you go. Oh, 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 oh. oh. all right. Would you like some banana? There you go. <laughs> All right. Woo! There's some peel for you. Hey, down. Good down. <laughs> All right, here you go. You two can share. <laughs> Sharing's really good. Oh, here's some more treats over here. Oh, look! <laughs> Animal crackers. All right. Who wants some crackers? Whee! <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Here, see? It's an animal, but it's a cracker. Here you go. <laughs> hey, down. Good down. You see what I'm doing? I'm using this brush to give him a nice back scratch. There you go. <laughs> hey. Ooh, does that feel good? Yeah. Have you ever gotten a back massage or a back scratch? Yeah. This probably feels just like that. Right, pig? Whoa. The skin. Hey. Would you like to get brushed? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, does that feel good? It's kind of like a bath, but without water. And it doesn't clean you. It just feels really good. I like taking baths and showers, nice and clean, and rubbing a brush on my skin. Here you go. Let's get you right there. Come check out this pig's hair. Whoa, it's really coarse and really thick. Wow. It's really thick. Oh, hello. Uh -oh. Hey, pig. There you go. Oh, yeah. Does that feel good? Oh, I bet. There you go. Yeah. See, I'm brushing this pig. This pig is really big. Whoa. Can I give you a hug? <laughs> Does that feel good? Yeah. It feels real good. You like your horns brushed, huh? Yeah. Here you go. You're a nice guy. Whoa. 
And do you see his eyes? Look! Look at his eyes. Come here. Do you see the black pupil? Yeah, that black part is called the pupil. And it's sideways. So then from there, the goat can see all around itself. Wow. <laughs> there you go, buddy. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye. What's in here? Wow, this is a growing room. <laughs> growing rooms are kind of like greenhouses. They keep a little bit more heat inside than outside. Right, Sheila? <laughs> All right, let's go explore. Ooh, look at what it is. It's a green hose. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, hey, look at what's on the end of the hose. Oh, it's a watering spigot. <laughs> what does it do? Whoa, it sprays water. Let's water the plants. There you go. There you go. Yeah, plants love to drink water, just like you and I do. All right, wow. This is so much fun growing plants because I love to eat the food afterwards. <laughs> Speaking of food, look way down there. Ooh, look! <laughs> it's a plum tomato. Ooh. It looks so tasty. Shall we eat it? <laughs> wow. Yum. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. Woo! Another fun thing to do at Laughing Goat Flower Farm is to make a bouquet. Come on. Whoa, look in here. Some more plants. All right. So these plants you don't eat. Yeah. These plants you make a beautiful, beautiful bouquet with. All right. Here we go. Let's take our snips. All right, where to go? How about right up there? All right, okay, oh, that's real pretty. So, how you make a bouquet is you start with a base flower, like this. Well, actually, you start with a base plant and then you add the beautiful, colorful flowers. But this plant right here, yeah, it's fuzzy. And it kind of looks th like the color white, oh yeah. Normally, plants are the color green. <laughs> well, sometimes, really depends on the plant. But this one is pretty white looking. All right, let's cut some more, shall we? There we go. All right, perfect. And some more. Look at all of them. They're so beautiful. All right, what else do we need? We got a nice base. <gasps> we need some color. Let's go. Ooh, look at these colorful flowers. Yeah, they're the color yellow. These will look beautiful in the bouquet. All right. Whoa, so interesting looking. Okay, let's put that right there. <laughs> All right, one will do. All righty. Let's find some more flowers. Come on. 
again. <laughs> Ooh, another growing room. Ah, and more flowers. Perfect. Just what we're after. All right. Look at this one. Huh. All right. Let's pull it up. Ooh. It's kind of white. Yeah. It also has a little bit of green and a little bit of yellow. Yeah. And it makes that color. All right. Let's put it right there. Yep. Perfect. Oh. Look. Wow. Take out our scissors. Gotta be careful. Okay. Ooh. That one's the color white. Put that right there. Ooh. Whoa. Look at this one. Yeah. This color is the color pink. Wow, so beautiful. <sighs> it smells so fresh. <laughs> All right. And one more over here. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that color. Whoa. It's a really deep, deep, dark purple. Whoa. That will look beautiful in the bouquet. Let's put it right there. All right. Let's go find some more flowers. <sighs> oh. Here's some more beautiful flowers for a bouquet. All right. Let's take our scissors. Be very careful. This one looks perfect. Actually, this one looks perfect. See the color? It's the color light pink. All right. Oh, <laughs> it fell. All right. <laughs> All right. Put my snippers back there. All right. Ah. Oh. So beautiful. All right. Put it right there. Whoa, look at it now. And it smells even more beautiful. <laughs> okay. Woo, some more flowers. All right. This one looks ready. And this one is dark pink. Wow. All right. Let's take the scissors. Give it a snip. Give it a smell. Mmm. Ah, so fresh. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's put it right there. Whoa. That's a big flower. Whoa. It's so colorful. Oh, I see some more over there. <laughs> Or beautiful flowers for our bouquet. <laughs> All right, let's cut some flowers together. <laughs> All right. Ooh, see this flower? This flower is the color light blue. Wow, beautiful. All right, let's put it in here. All right, perfect. All right, let's cut some more. Here we go. All right. Look, we have some more to place in here. Uh, how about one right there? How about one right here? <laughs> okay. <Whew. laughs> and we have two more. One, two. Let's put one. Right there. Perfect. And let's put the last one right next to this big one. <laughs> All right. There we go. Perfect. So beautiful. Oh, look. 
More blue flowers. All right. Let me snip some of these. Huh. These are the color blue as well. But remember the last flowers? They were light blue. But these flowers are dark blue. <laughs> Let's put them in the bouquet. All right. Here we go. About one right there. How about one over here? How about one? Let's see. Right there looks beautiful. And one right there. Whoa! What a beautiful bouquet! Let's go get some more flowers. Ooh, some more flowers. Ooh, interesting. See this flower? It's not fully blossomed yet. Huh, yeah. Oh, there's different stages of blossoming flowers. Look down here. See, this one hasn't even opened yet. It's still a baby. Ooh, you see this? It's trying to peek out. <laughs> it's like, hello, I see you. <laughs> but then it opens a little bit up, a little bit more. See? And then goes to a little bit more. Yeah. And then goes even more. Wow. And then after that goes, oh, I'm beautiful. I'm a flower! <laughs> and speaking of that, there's some down here. Let's go! Whoa! Look at these! Oh, let's cut one. Whoa! This is a new color. Do you see it? Yeah, this color is the color red. All right, let's add it to the bouquet. Let's put this one right in the very, very center. Whoa, look at that. It is so beautiful. I know what I'm gonna do with these flowers. I'm gonna surprise my mom. Shh, if you cut flowers, you can do the same. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. Bye bye Love you, mom. We're on a farm. Look at all the animals. Whoa. Ooh, ooh, look at this one. This is a cow. <laughs> and a horse. Ooh, and a pig. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Okay, now that we're on a farm, let's see what other things we can find on the farm. Well, we saw animals already. Let's go! Whoa! Bye bye! <laughs> we lost the wagon! Whoa! Whoa! Look! We found some. We found a potato! We must be on a potato farm today! Potato! Ooh! And what are all these? A yellow hat. Okay, ooh, there we go. And, ooh, some eyeballs. <laughs> Gotta be able to see. Ooh, those are upside down. Okay, and, ooh, we have a red tongue. Oh, nope, that's the nose, actually. But we do have a red tongue. Put that right there. Ooh, it's starting to look like a potato head. And green feet or shoes and pink ears. Uh, 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 <laughs> Ooh, are we missing something? Yeah. Ooh, look, down here. Two white arms. Put one right there. <laughs> and one right there. Whoa. Hello. 
Okay, you stay here, Mr. Potato Head. Let's go over here. Whoa, whoa, another potato head. Woo! <laughs> okay, ooh, we got a blue hat this time. Oh, I'm Optimus Prime, I oh, don't know. No. Do, 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 do. Ooh, an arm with orange and blue. Goes on this side, perfect. And another one, ooh. <laughs> whoa, wow. Two eyes. One, two. Put them right there. Ooh, look at that orange nose. Put it right there. <laughs> and, ooh, look at the smile. <laughs> okay, let's put that right here. And last but not least, some green shoes. Or blue shoes. <laughs> I said they were green. But these are blue. <laughs> okay, see what else we can find. Here's another one. Look, another potato head. Okay, we have some gray feet and a blue hat. Ooh, a police officer's hat, see? Wow. And whoa, a really big beard. Okay. And an orange nose again. Okay. There we go. Oh, what a cute nose. And ooh, a couple arms. Let's put those up like this. Whoa! <laughs> it fell out. Did you see that? Okay, let's put it right there. Hello! Okay. And ooh, we forgot the ears. Oh, the ears are falling out. Let's see? Okay. And then the eyes. Okay. <laughs> it keeps falling out. There we go. All right. Now we're all finished. Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay. Here we go. What it is? Whoa! It's a tractor and a backhoe. Whoa! Whoa! Look! It's a giant excavator. Whoa! It's so big. Come on! Scoop up the dirt. And another potato head. Okay, here it is. Now, a blue construction hat for the excavator. Put that on top. And a nose. And an ear. And another ear. See? Ooh. <laughs> arm ah and another white arm okay green shoes ooh Put that right there and two more things we have a smile a red smile hee <laughs> put that right there and last but not least a couple eyes okay there we go <laughs> okay, let's keep on moving. Whoa! Whoa! Yes! Oh. Green. Look at all of these potato heads. I need to sit down for this one. Okay. Ooh, look at this. This one even has eyes on it already. Okay. Ooh. Nice little, nice little princess hat. Hello. <laughs> Let's find some more princess stuff. And, uh, ooh, 
Nice high heel shoes. Perfect. Put it right there. And we already have the eyes, so let's find a nose. Um, where's a nose? Here's a nose, a pink nose. Okay, put it right there. And we need a beautiful smile. Where is a beautiful smile? Let's see here. Huh. Ooh, here's a beautiful smile. Ooh. <laughs> okay. There she is. Nice and pretty. And, ooh, a really big ear. Oh, that's too big, actually. A normal size ear. There we go. And another normal size ear. <laughs> We're almost done. We just need cute arms. Ooh, here's one. This is just the hand. That will look funny. Let's put it right there. See? Short little hand. Here's another one. High five. Boop. <laughs> okay, and there we go. There is our last potato head. Whoa, she's so pretty. <laughs> well, this was so much fun finding potato heads on the farm. If you want to watch more of my videos, you know what to do. Just ask a grown-up really nicely to search for my name. Do you know my name? Yeah, it's Blippi. Let's spell it together. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi, good job. All right. See you again. And today we're at Tanaka Farms in Irvine, California. Tanaka Farms, yeah, is a farm where you get to pick your very own fruits and vegetables. Yeah! No grocery store today. Today, you and I are at the farm. Here we go! Ho ho ho! Check it out! It looks like there's a tractor and two wagons. Let's go! Here at Tanaka Farms, you can ride the tractor on the Tanaka Farm Tractor Tour. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, hey, look. Hey, who hey, are you? I'm Farmer Kenny. Ooh, Farmer Kenny. Nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? Oh, I do a little bit of everything, drive the tractor around and take you on a tour. Whoa, can we take a tour? Sure, hop on on. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm in a carrot field. All right, step on over. And you see all this green? That's the top of the carrot. Yeah, you don't eat that. The carrot is actually under the ground. That's why they call it a root vegetable. <laughs> okay, in order to pick a carrot, we actually need to find the carrots. So let's pull these back. Whoa, there's a lot right here. Yeah, see all this orange? Yeah, those are carrots. But they're pretty stuck under there. So let's take this giant pitchfork. Whoa, <laughs> looks like a small fork, but way bigger. And then let's loosen up the soil. Wow, and then we need to pick a carrot. Hey, here's one right here. Wow, check it out. We got a carrot. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's cool. I love carrots, they're the color orange. I love putting them in my salads, my carrot cake, even some soup. Mm, they're so yummy. And they help your eyes be able to see at night. Whoa, pretty cool. <laughs> hey, and actually there's an animal that really loves to eat carrots. Can you think of what animal that is? Huh, let's go find it. Oh, cute bunny. <laughs> Look, it's 
a cute bunny. Wow, this bunny's name is Andy. Oh, I wonder if Andy wants a carrot from earlier. Here you go, Andy. Huh, maybe Andy's not hungry. That's okay. Let's put Andy down. There you go. All right, here you go, Andy. Whoa, I love bunnies. They are so soft. Hey, this is peanut butter, and the other one, its name is Jelly. Oh, there's another one. Oh, 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 look at all those. Oh, hey, there you go. It's okay. Yeah. Wow, do you see this chicken? This is a modern game chicken. Yeah, and they still lay eggs, although they're really small. Yeah, look at them. Hey, you're so cute. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's put peanut butter down so then peanut butter can eat some of the mealworms. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, oh, and come over here. <laughs> I have something to show you. Wow, right over here, we have some eggs. Yeah, chickens lay eggs. Wow, we have one egg, two eggs, three eggs, and four eggs. These two are big eggs, and these two are small eggs. But these two weren't laid by the modern game chicken. These are still too big for those chickens. <laughs> okay, we'll put these eggs back right here, and let's go check out the chickens some more. <laughs> Chickens sure do love their snack. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Wow! You see these? These are carrots. Yeah! They're the color orange. I love the color orange. It's one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> Whoa, and these are onions. Wow, that is a big onion. <laughs> and look at these. These are also onions, but these are called green onions. Yeah, they're both onions, but they look so different. <laughs> wow, this is romaine. I love romaine, it's so healthy. I like to put it in my salads. Wow, and these are beets. Whoa, these are golden beets, and these are just beets. <laughs> oh, look, check these out. These are cute. These are radishes. Do you see the color? It's kind of like a pinkish red. Yeah, I like that color. Wow, hey. And spinach. These are in a little case, a clear case. Yeah, spinach is green. A lot of these vegetables are the color green, it seems like. Well, see the radishes? Yeah, the part that you eat is the pinkish red color. But up here, this uses photosynthesis to grow the radishes. And this is the color green, but you don't need the top. <laughs> wow, kale. You should try some kale chips sometimes. Yeah, it's like normal chips, but healthier. <laughs> wow, are these drumsticks? <laughs> nope, these are sugar cane. Wow, <laughs> that is so sweet. <laughs> wow, Japanese eggplant. Wow, these are the color purple. It's a very dark purple. Wow, so cool and healthy. Oh, we got some green celery. We got some cauliflower. Mm. <laughs> oh, can't forget about the summer squash. Yeah. Wow. And we also have some green bell peppers. Yeah, right next to the red bell peppers. Check it out. Yeah, red, green, red, green. <laughs> we'll put those back 
just right there. And last but not least, we got some corn on the cob. I love corn. <laughs> All right, Blippi, we're here. <gasps> I am so excited. Wow, I wonder what type of food this is. Okay, let's see. All right. We could go down this row right okay, here. Okay, this one? All right. Whoa, what are these? Those are watermelons. Watermelons, wow, it looks like there's two different kinds. Yeah, there's these small round ones, those are uh, yellow watermelon. Okay. And those big oblong ones, those are red seeded watermelon. Wow, can we pick a couple? Yeah, let's find some to pick. Okay. So, uh, how about this yellow one right here, okay. right in the middle? This one? Yeah. Okay, how do you do it? Just go oh, ahead and it comes hey, right it off. When it's ready, it comes right off. Wow, look at it. This watermelon is a circle or a sphere. <laughs> okay, all right. all right. Let me go, I'll go grab a red, a okay. red one. Whoa, that's a big watermelon. Wow, what shape is this? Looks like a sphere to me. Yeah, kind of like an oblong sphere <laughs> or an oval. <laughs> all right. Now, can we put them down right yeah. here? Okay, wow, these are so nice. Okay, all right. So, this is a normal watermelon, and we know what the color inside is, but we should just cut it open and check, Let's right? see what it looks like. Wow, yeah, green on the outside and reddish pink <laughs> red on the inside. Wow, and do you see the seeds? They're black seeds and white seeds. Whoa, okay. But since this watermelon looked a little different, what's so different about it? It just has a yellow inside flesh. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because it's called a yellow watermelon. Can we cut it open? Yeah, let's cut it open and see. When they're nice and ready, they pop right open. Yeah. Whoa, I've never seen a watermelon like this before. Look. This is the color yellow. Wow. All right, let's compare them. Yellow, red. Yellow, red. Both are tasty. <laughs> wow. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm, that's sweet. I love the taste of yellow watermelon. Mmm. <laughs> What color is your favorite of watermelon? My favorite is yellow. Mm. Has a little bit different taste, but tastes really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me tell you, this tastes really good. Mm-hmm. You wanna try? <laughs> Ooh, strawberry. Mm. 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 Strawberries are so tasty. Let's go pick some more strawberries. Okay, do you see my container? This is called a clam shell container. Yeah, do you know what a clam is? Yeah, clam is a shellfish, and this kind of looks like it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, let's pick 20 strawberries. Whoa, that's a lot of strawberries. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, Wow, eight, <laughs> nine, 10 strawberries. Okay, we're halfway there. 11, 12, minus one, 11, <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, almost there, 18, <laughs> 19, last one, 20. 20 strawberries in our clamshell container. Good job. <laughs> Woohoo! What kind of plants are these? 
I've never seen these before. Wow, look at them, they're so tall. Kinda looks like corn stalks. But I know they're not corn stalks. Wow. We're stopping. All right, Blippi, we're here on Sugarcane Lane. Sugarcane Lane? Did you hear that? Oh, that's what these must be. Sugar canes. Whoa. Okay. All right, Farmer Kenny. All right. What do we do now? We're gonna cut some sugar cane down. Okay. Wow. Hey, these are sugar canes. Look at a nice stock. Whoa. Whoa, that's a sharp knife. <laughs> you just chopped it down. Wow, what's sugarcane used for? You could use it just to suck on. You could use it to press it out, make juice out of it. Ooh. Cook with it. Is that what they make sugar out of? Yeah. Whoa, sugarcane makes sugar. Wow. Okay. Wow, look at that. So normally you just cut off the skin and chew on the inside. Wow. So you can chew on that right there? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Anytime you use knife, you have to be very careful, right, grown-ups? And only grown-ups can use a knife. Oh, all right. That looks so yummy. Could chew on that little end. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. I love sugar cane. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. Whoa, this is a monstrous plant. And this is actually a flower. This is a giant flower. And this flower, it's called a sunflower. Wow, can you tell why it's called a sunflower? Yeah, because it looks like the sun. Whoa, wow, and sunflowers produce seeds. Hmm. Hmm. yummy, seeds are really healthy. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about fruits, vegetables, seeds with you at Tanaka Farms in Irvine, California. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you later. Bye-bye. Woo! Look at the cherries. They look so yummy. I love cherries, and cherries grow in clusters like these. Let's pull off a cluster and count how many cherries are in the cluster. Whoa! Okay, one cherry, two cherries, and three cherries. Okay, first thing you need to do is pull the cherries off of the tree. And then you put it in the bucket right here. And when the bucket is really full, like this, then we go to the bin oh, and pour out the cherries. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Look at all those cherries. Look at all of these cherries. Now that the bins are full of cherries to the tippy tippy top, now it's time for the tractor to load up the bins.
Yum! These cherries look so tasty. And these cherries are the color red. the truck to take it to the packing facility. They can get sorted and packed. Watch! Looking 
Yeah, I'm looking for leaves and throwing them away. Whoa, I, oh, here's one. Yes, another leaf. Good job. I'm getting so, oh, yeah. Okay, so now we make sure these, these cherries are nice and clean so then they can go down the conveyor belt so then they'll be nice and ready for you to eat. we're sorting into three sizes of cherries. The first size is a small cherry. Ooh. The next size is a medium cherry. Ooh. And the last size is a big cherry. Now this goes to the store.
It's me, Flippy. Whoa, and I'm drinking some really tasty orange juice. Mmm, <laughs> it's so tasty. And it's sweet. And it's my favorite color. <laughs> the color orange. <laughs> hey, I wonder where orange juice comes from. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's right. It comes from oranges. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> oranges are so tasty. They're really good for your body. Because they give you lots of vitamins and energy. <laughs> yeah. There are so many cool, colorful fruits. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many different shapes and sizes. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Whoa, <laughs> look at these fruits. These are really fuzzy. Ooh. <laughs> They're soft. Oh, yeah. These fruits are kiwi. Whoa, they're the color brown. Hmm. But kiwi, you cut them open, they're the color green. And they're really sweet inside. Whoa, blue! <laughs> they're really cool. I'm gonna save these for later. Whoa. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this fruit. <laughs> this fruit is really big <gasps> and heavy. <laughs> this is a watermelon. Whoa, and the watermelons are really big and tasty. <laughs> yeah, they're the color green, but kind of like a kiwi. If you open them up, they're red inside. And they have lots of little teeny tiny black seeds that'll grow up to be other watermelon. <laughs> Whoa! That was so cool! We learned about all these different colors and fruits. <laughs> and we learned about orange juice comes from oranges. Whoa! <laughs> hey, but now that we know where orange juice comes from, where do oranges come from? Hmm, maybe they grow up really tall in a tree. Or maybe down in the ground? Hmm, I'm not sure. But I know a great place that you and I can go. We can find out all we need to know about oranges. <laughs> hey, will you go with me? <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. I'm so excited. It's me, Flippy, and today we're here at Showcase of Citrus in Claremont, Florida. <laughs> yeah! And today we get to learn all about oranges. Growing oranges, picking oranges, juicing oranges. <laughs> yeah! I'm super excited and hungry because oranges are really tasty. Not only that, but it's my favorite color. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Come on! <laughs> hey! I'm so excited to learn all about oranges. But first, you and I get to go on a really exciting adventure ride on these big monster trucks. <laughs> yeah! Hey, let's get a closer look. Come on! Whoa, look at it! These wheels and tires are massive! They're even taller than me! <laughs> Whoa! I just love monster trucks. Whoa! And look inside this wheel! It's really big! It echoes! <laughs> Hello. Hello! Whoa, I am so excited to get in one of the monster trucks. And hey, look, it's the driver. Uh, Hello, what's your name? Hi, my name's Amy. Hi, Amy. <gasps> I think Amy's going to take us on a monster truck ride. This is going to be great. Come on. And hey, look, it's Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi, come on on. Let's go. We're riding on a real-life monster truck. Yeah. Let's sit down and get ready to start. All right, let's go. OK, we're going to go. <laughs> yeah. That's a really loud engine. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. So Amy. I really like oranges. Will we be able to pick some oranges to eat later? We will. Ooh, can we just pick any oranges we want? So we only have a certain amount of oranges that are available to pick. Some of them aren't ready yet, Ooh. but we do have lots of them. Well, how do you tell if an orange is ready or not? So how you tell is usually by the color. 
Um, sometimes, though, it's usually more of when you feel it. Make mm. sure at least it's a little bit soft. Ooh, we like oranges that are nice and soft and juicy. We don't want an unripe orange. Blah. No. <laughs> are those normally green oranges? They actually are. A lot of people don't know that. Um, so actually, you know during um, fall how the leaves mm -hmm. start to change? Mm -hmm. That's the same thing with oranges. They start off green and once it gets cool, um, they start to turn that nice yellow orange color. Um, and that is when you know they're ready to pick. Whoa, that's so cool. I didn't know that before, but you have leaves in fall that are green and then they turn my favorite color orange. <laughs> yeah. And Amy's telling me that it's the same thing with oranges. They're green and not very good to eat. And then they get nice and sweet and tasty as orange oranges. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> hey, that was so much fun riding the monster truck with you. Well, I'm really excited because Amy's gonna help us pick some oranges in the orange grove. Yeah, come on, let's go pick some tasty oranges. <laughs> All right, so to start, you're gonna need your bag. Oh, I got our bag. You're also gonna need your picker. This is to help to get the oranges that are way high on top of the tree. Okay, and next we'll use the picker. Okay, so we need to pick some oranges, but do you remember what color we needed to pick the orange at? Hmm, <laughs> yeah, that's right, yellowish orange. See this one right here? Yeah, this orange is the color green. And it's a little firm, so it's not quite ripe yet. We wanna find one, hmm. I don't see any on this tree. Mm. Let's keep looking for an orange that's the right color. Come on. Ooh, there are so many oranges on this one. <laughs> hey, Amy, let's pick this one right here. So how do I pick this orange? All right, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna pull and okay. twist. So I'll sit that yep. down. And we're gonna pull and twist. There you go. Twist and pull. pull. Whoa. <laughs> you got two. I picked two oranges, yeah. And look, they're a nice yellowish orange color, which means they're gonna be super sweet and tasty. Yeah, okay, so I'll put these in our orange bag. Mm -hmm. and pick some more oranges. All right, I gotcha. Okay, let's get this one up All here. Right. We're gonna use the picker because it's too high up for me to get. We'll grab it with the picker and then gonna twist it. Whoa, <laughs> hey, and we got it, and then you just reach into the picker and you got yourself a tasty orange. Mm. Thanks, Amy. You're welcome. Hey, and look, this orange tree has some really pretty white flowers. Huh. What are these white flowers called? Those are orange blossoms. Huh. Well, they sure are really pretty. What are these uh, flowers for? Just pretty decoration? No, so actually these are gonna end up turning into this. What? No way! Yeah. Did you hear that? Those pretty orange blossoms are gonna grow up big and strong and be a tasty fruit. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to eat some for myself. Hey, how about let's pick some more and then we can taste them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's keep picking some oranges. Fix it down. Whoa, here's another one. Yeah. One. Let's pick a second one. Two. Let's get another. Three. You can fit one more in there. Oh, we can fit one more. It's looking pretty full. Here we go. And four, <laughs> yeah. Four oranges. And whoa, it looks like I filled up the entire bag with oranges. <laughs> yeah. These are gonna be really tasty and juice or just by themselves. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Amy. You're welcome. Let's go eat them. Come on. <laughs> hey, that was so much fun picking all of those tasty oranges from the orange grove. And now we get to enjoy them by making some tasty orange juice. Yeah, we have everything we need right here. We have some cups. Ooh. <laughs> we have our oranges. That'll have all the juice. We have our juicer. <laughs> Yeah, and this juicer will put the oranges in here and that'll squeeze out all the juice into our cup. And last but not least, we have our cutting board and we have a knife. Now, the first thing we need to do is take our orange and cut it in half. But just remember to never use a knife without a parent's help. Okay, here we go. 
Whoa, look at it. It's so colorful inside. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, look at the inside. There's all these little parts that hold in all that sweet orange juice. Yeah, and look at the outside of it. All that little parts that are all white, that's called the pith. Yeah, the pith is a really healthy part of the orange. So if you're ever eating an orange, make sure you eat that part too, because it has lots of healthy vitamins. Cool, okay, so we have our oranges cut in half, and now take the juicer and a cup, put the orange, in the juicer and we're gonna squeeze really hard and we'll watch as all the juice comes out of the bottom. Are you ready? Here we go! One, two, three! <laughs> Whoa, look at it! Whoa, woo! <laughs> yeah, and then you just take the orange out, put it right there, put in the other half. <laughs> Oh, look at all that orange juice. Whoa, it's really good that we have this juicer to help us get all the juice out. Otherwise, it would be really tricky juicing these oranges. Also, if you look at the bottom, the orange juicer has all these teeny little slits. Yeah, and those slits help to catch all of the seeds inside of the orange. Yeah, each orange, whoo, these are kind of hard to pick up, has these teeny tiny little seeds and the seeds are gonna one day grow up and be really strong, big trees. First, the seed, you plant it in the soil and a little leaf sprouts up. And then after you water it and take care of it for a little bit, it'll become a seedling, which is kind of like a teeny tiny little baby tree. And then it grows into a small tree and then into a really big adult tree. And it will grow fresh oranges to pick off the tree. <laughs> Well, we already picked our oranges, so I'm gonna get to cutting and juicing so we can taste some yummy orange juice. Let's go! <laughs> Whoa, look at this one. This orange is red inside. Whoa! <laughs> That's really silly. Yeah, that's because this orange is called a red navel. It's colored red, but it'll still be really tasty. So we'll juice some of these too. a lot of oranges to make this yummy cup of orange juice, <laughs> but I think it's all gonna be worth it. And now we get to taste the fruits of our labor. <laughs> okay, here we go. <gasps> oh, yeah! <laughs> this is really tasty. It's super sweet and really healthy too. Did you know that orange juice has lots of vitamin C in it? And it's really good for immunity to help you fight disease and stay nice and strong and healthy. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna have another sip. <laughs> so tasty. Well, thanks so much for helping me learn how to make some orange juice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Whoa, that was so much fun picking oranges with our good friend Amy and Showcase of Citrus. <laughs> Oh, they were so tasty! <laughs> yeah! Oh, look at this! <laughs> it looks like it's time for the Bubbles Lab! Yeah! And look at what it says! Sink or float! <laughs> yeah! I love that game! Sink or float! And I have a really good idea. How about we see if the fruit that we learned about and these oranges will sink or float in some water. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, look at all this stuff. I am so excited for sink or float. Whoa. And it looks like we get to do a science experiment. 
Yeah, a science experiment. <laughs> Do you know what that is? That's when you make a guess about something, like if it will sink or float, and then you try it out to see if your guess was right. <laughs> Let's go see if some fruit sink or float. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's all the delicious and colorful fruit from earlier. We have all kinds. Hey, let's start with the strawberries and see if they sink or float. Ooh. <laughs> okay, here we go. What do you think? Will they sink or float? Whoa, look at it. <laughs> they float to the top. Whoa, those strawberries are having a fun time floating. Woo, <laughs> let's try another fruit. Hmm, oh, what about this fruit? This is an avocado. Let's see if it sinks or floats. <laughs> okay, here we go. On the count of three, we're gonna drop it in. Hmm, I wonder what it does. Three, two, one. Whoa, Whoa what's it gonna do? Oh, look at it. It sinks right to the bottom. <laughs> that was really cool. Okay, it's time to try one more fruit. Hey, what about an orange? Let's try the orange. Woo! <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was bouncy. Now look, the orange floats to the top. Wait a minute. Oranges have peels. What if we peel it and try it again? Okay, let's try it. There's a little one, and it doesn't have its peel. It looks kind of silly. Ooh, <laughs> let's see if it sinks or floats. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> did you see it? Yeah, we know something sinks or floats because of density. If an orange with a peel is kind of loosely packed together, then it's gonna float. But like the peeled orange, if it's really tightly packed together, ooh, <laughs> then it'll sink to the bottom. Wow, that was so much fun doing a science experiment with you of sink or float. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, all that sweet, sweet orange juice has me in the mood for some sweet, sweet dance moves. <laughs> yeah, let's do the OJ twist together. And here are the moves. Do you remember how we picked oranges with Amy? Yeah, you grab the orange, and then you twist, and you pull it up. And then you have an orange. So that's what we're gonna do. Grab an orange, grab an orange, and twist. The second step is to have lots of fun and jump around while you're doing it. I'm so excited to dance with you. Let's go. Now take your hands and move your fist. You're doing it. The OJ Twist. Do the OJ Twist. Twist, twist, and twist like this, this, this. It'll be real sweet, sweet, sweet. Just move your feet, feet, feet. Do the OJ Twist. Twist, twist, and twist like this, this, this. It'll be real sweet, sweet, sweet. Just move your feet, feet, feet. <laughs> was so much fun spending the day with you at the Orange Groves. Whoa! <laughs> we got to do so many awesome things, like eat oranges and pick oranges and drink some tasty orange juice. <laughs> yeah! Oh, and we even got to do a really cool bubbles lab where we learned if oranges sink or float. <laughs> and a lot of other fruits. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. E-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. <laughs>